Greetings and welcome here at Professor Harman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Simon Irungu coming in with the big question as usual. Okay, we have had talks before of who should deputize Raila Odinga. It's high time we also talk about who should deputize uh, the deputy president, uh, Mr. William Samuel Ruto. Okay, you know, the choice of running mate has the potential of tilting scale of the presidential election. Correct, now, correct. what do you think are some of the things that the deputy president needs to look at? There would have been one major consideration okay. that could be his major undoing. That the country is tired of Kikuyu, Kalenjin, Kikuyu, Kalenjin. Mm. So far we have had these three Kikuyus. One Kalenjin. He wants to be the fourth Kalenjin. To give Kenyans a running mate from Mount Kenya is to confirm and to tell Kenyans, according to him, this country should be ruled by Kikuyu, Kalenjin, Kikuyu, Kalenjin forever. So one thing, if he could break that, I don't know how he would do it. That would have been the best thing he would have done by giving Kenyans a non-Kikuyu candidate and for running mate. Do you think he stands a chance of maybe choosing someone who's not a Kikuyu? Because all that is again are... in, catch two, is in a catch two situation, 22 situation, because the mountain expects nothing less than running mate position from him. And it would have disastrous consequences if he didn't give them. So he's in a very hard place. And now, with entry of Justin Muturi in Kenya Kwanzaa, does this uh, further complicate the metrics? And uh, should he be considered as, should Ruto consider him as his running mate? Yeah, Justin Muturi would be a good, uh, good pick. One, he's untainted, at least to the extent that we people know. He's untainted, he's a good track record, magistrate, politician, speaker. Not a very good speaker though, but speaker nevertheless. Uh, with little la baggage and like so he's a good person secondly you could hide under the fact that he's not from central province you, that this is not another kikuyu you know you are, you are appeasing mount kenya in general and you are saying mount kenya is to have not had it good now this is their time while addressing the issue of kalenjin kikuyu kalenjin you could hide that in there by by having justin mturi and he's, is he capable of bringing in numbers? Yes. And how uh, popular is he in the mountain? It's not quite popular, but Mount Kenya East people have always felt short change. So bringing in Justin Muturi is, is, is like Ruto bringing in Kidiki Kindure from the Raka, you know, the eastern part of the mountain. It's like Raila bringing in Peter Munya. It comes with advantages that Mount Kenya East people will feel now at least somebody is thinking about us. Yeah. Okay, regarding Ashago has been trending on Twitter not once, not twice, but several times. Uh, when you look at the comment section, people are actually saying that the deputy president should consider him as his running mate. Uh, should he be considered? I think truth be told, my friend Gashagwa stands head and shoulder above all others who are competing for that position. If you are to make a fair assessment of all the people who want to be who are being considered for running mate. I think Ashagwa is by and large ahead of the rest. Far and by ahead, except there's only one small thing that works against him and uh, say uh, Kidiki Kinduri and uh, even Justin Mturi. The Muranga question. The Muranga people feel it is their time. And how is this issue of the Muranga people feeling that it's their time? How is it going to affect the, this presidential race? Uh, it would have uh, the, the entire, not just Ruto. It will be. It is what is part of what is forcing Peter Kennedy into the game to be Raila's running mate. It is what was making me say, if somebody like Jimmy Wangigi had known how to play his cards well, that Kikuyu option. When Kikuyu, if Kikuyu were to choose to have one of their own, Jimmy Wangigi was to to reap the benefit of that. If he played his. I've earlier said he hasn't quite proved to me he can play it very well. But if he did, that's what I meant, the Moranga factor in the central Kenya politics. Okay, now there are talks escalating. I don't know if it's Jadil who is escalating these talks. Yes. He said that Musalia Mudavadi is eyeing for the finance minister. Okay, uh, what, I, what I'm saying is Jadil escalating. I've had that, uh, I got that information through Jadil. Yes. And does, okay, if, if it is so, this puts him out of the deputy question. Uh, now, what does it mean to for the people from the western region? The people of western province have had many even, even vice presidents. So even to be uh, number two to, to us of western is nothing. 
we had Mudia Wori, we had Msalia, we had Michael Omalu Akija. So what are you telling us? We have had so many ministers, even being a minister is nothing. There was a time we controlled everything in the Moi government. We are the finance minister, we are the attorney general, we are the chief justice. If you don't remember, attorney general Amos Wako, chief justice Chesoni, finance minister Mudabadi, Masakalia was there, or Ken was there in that docket. We, we had a host of other ministries. Energy, what? You know, chemo, you, we had almost the whole government. And what changed right now? Um, uh, people are saying Musalem Mudavadi is lost. Musalem Mudavadi is now lost because a community that was going for the presidency cannot be reduced to a community that then goes for, 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 for ministry. Okay, okay. Yes. Other people uh, uh, eyeing for this position include the Rakanidi Senator Kiduri Kindiki. I don't know how well you know him. How would you? I know him. He's a sharp young man. He's a colleague of mine. We worked with him so, at the University of Nairobi before he left for KU and then shortly after into politics. He's a very good, friend, very good guy. I know him, capable, good lawyer, learned. And he has proved himself even in court, very articulate. But coming from the Raka Nidhi could be his undoing. Okay. Yeah. I know these things, people rarely speak about them in broad daylight. Uh, some people don't think somebody from the Raka should really gun for big things. Kandara MP, uh, <laughs> Alice Wahome also thinks that she's right for this Yeah, and position. a woman for that. She's and from Moranga. She's a woman. You know, this, is some, this, this could be a dangerous card. Is she bringing the same card as that of Mother Karua in Azimila? Of course, or, there is no comparison. Aish, come on. <laughs> How can you get a kid in class five and compare them to a university student? Mother Karua is a, is a, is a postgraduate student. She's a graduate student and Alice Wahome is in class four or five. You can't compare. Wait, what? On what basis? Okay, there are different okay. worlds apart. Okay, now do you think she should be considered the fact yeah, that she's she a can. lady? Yeah, she can. You look here, you don't need experience to be president or running mate. Is it Clinton who said when he was asked about experience? He said, who has ever had experience before they went to White House? How? Can you have the experience before you go to White House? And everybody kept quiet. So, Alice Wahome doesn't need any experience. She doesn't need to be a mother Karua. If she's picked... She will, she's a lawyer. She's a compact politician. She will be running mate and succeed. If Akikui must succeed, Akalenji, and succeed William Ruto. And she can be president. Who says she can't? Mm -hmm. She can. Having president, you're talking about the future, 2027, maybe? 2032. 20, Ruto will do 10 years. Alice Wome another 10 years. So okay. she'll go up to 20, 20, 20, 2042. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kihura legislature and Dindi Nyoro. Uh, people are saying that he's young. Yeah, people he have mentioned be him so much because of this Muranga factor. But that will not convince Kenyans. He's too young. In fact, that will be, that will be a liability to Ruto. People, you know, he's age-wise, he's still too young. He's erratic. He's, uh, he's, he's uh, propelled by youth. You know, youth sometimes think they know everything. And uh, they make very many mistakes in the process too, of thinking. So he's is an exemplification of an immature politician. And I don't think Nindi Nyoro will, be, will do him any good. I feel it would be a bad liability for Ruto to choose Nindi Nyoro. Okay. He still has another 10 years. Five, but 10 more. 10 more years, Nindi Nyoro will be a compact politician in the level of Kina. You see, you can be young, but compact. Like Kimani Ishungwa is young. I hope you have him on the list. Yeah. Yeah, Kimani Ishungwa is young. But you see, there's a sense of maturity you detect when he talks. You know, much more than you can find within the within the uh, within the utterances of uh, Nini Nyoro. Uh, Ishungwa, maybe elaborate, uh, mention something about him. Ishungwa, you know, Ishungwa is a compact politician, young, well trained, has some experience. He was in the budget committee. He did a commendable job. If you made Ishungwa your running mate, you'll only have to deal with the Moranga factor, nothing else. Nobody will have anything against Ishungwa. He can be a good running mate. And these are young people in the next five, ten years, even if you made president, they'll be president and they'll work. Ishungwa is compact. Young, but that, that Utoto Kidogo you find with Moses Kuria and, uh, and, and Ndini Nyoro, Ishungwa stays, steers clear of that a bit. So you can see, under, under Ruto for five or ten years, in the unlikely event Ruto became president with the Shungwa's running mate, Kenya can feel 
if anything happened to the to the president, to to, to, to unlikely President Ruto, Ishungwa can step in and nobody will have a problem. Okay, we've mentioned uh, quite a few uh, people coming from the mountain region. Who do you think is currently the people aspiring to deputize the deputy president? Who do you think is more popular in the mountain and is able to bring in the numbers? Uh, or are they strong as a group? Strong as a group, certainly, certainly. Oh, what? Anytime a group is stronger than an individual. Uh, I think a Shagwa, like I've said, is he has no competitor for that position. Except for the Muranga factor. He has absolutely no competitor. Okay. Not even Justin Muturi, nobody matches regarding a Shagwa. Okay, as we were talking about who should deputize Raila Odinga, I, uh, people are saying that we are actually concluding that Mother Karua should be the person to deputize Raila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually most of the people are saying, yeah, it's high time uh, Mother Karua. Uh, Raila uh, says that it's Mother Karua. And if it, it is so, and the deputy president William Ruto takes someone from the mountain, how are the outcomes likely to, to be? You, you know, the best, uh, the, 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 the thing that Mother Karua brings to the ticket most, we will be looking at credentials. It will be a picture of two reformists paired to move this country into the future. A future they have fought for by putting their lives on the line for that future. Here they are being given an opportunity to run this country and actualize their dream of a different Kenya. That is what Mother Karua brings to the Raila ticket, if she's given. People who have been in the trenches, people who have fought, sacrificed, risked everything for human rights, for democracy, and for the future of this country. So when you have that team, the image you get, just juxtapose that with the image you'd get if Ruto were to run with Anwar yeah. and with all the things that have been said about the two, look at that image. Then look at the image of Karua and Raila. You, you can see the you only juxtapose the two. Okay. So that's that's the biggest thing that Karua brings to the ticket. Of course, gender and so on and so. On. But the biggest is is a complete reform team, a reformist platform to be driven by reformists practical reformists people who do not need any introduction when you are talking about the struggle for a better kenya okay so what i'm reading from what you are telling me right now and from mm. what people are saying is that if raila deputy uh, if raila takes in uh, mother karua as his deputy uh, this means that uh, he's in terms of number he is now so he's surpassed uh, the deputy president william ruto now what does the deputy president need to do Ruto. In order to change this scale. For Ruto is tricky. I've said it's very tricky in terms of picking a Kikuyu, but he, he has no option. Because if Ruto tries not to pick a Kikuyu, and I'm very careful when I'm using the word Akikuyu, he will make the Uhuru's work very easy. <laughs> in central. Very easy. So he has to pick somebody from there. At the risk of annoying Mount Kenya East. I think Mudavadi has given up. He's already given up. So he's, he's within the mountain. So it's a question of, is it Mount Kenya East or Mount Kenya West? What will Mount Kenya East feel? Because every time this thing comes to Mount Kenya, it is Kenyatta, it is Kibaki, it is Uhuru, now it is another Gikuyu Rigadi. What will the Mount Kenya East feel? And once you are in the central Kenya, it's a question of what will the Mranga people feel? Those are the major considerations. And he has to navigate around that. So his conversation must be around Certainly whether Mount Kenya East or West, within Mount Kenya West, which is central, former central province, how do you deal with the Muranga factor? Okay, let me ask you that question. How do you satisfy, satisfy Mount Kenya as a whole? First of all, by picking one from them. You tick that box. By avoiding Mdavadi and anybody else, Aden Dwale, you go for them. So you tick that box. Once you are inside the box, they ask you now, deal with this question. Will Mount Kenya East be escorting these fellows forever, from 1963. Mm -hmm. Then that box, you either take it or you cross it. Then they give you another chance. Now that you are in Mount Kenya is West, must it always be Nyeri Kiambu, Nyeri Kiambu? Why are they flying over Muranga? And then you must address that. The po so those boxes will be there to be ticked. Okay, and they will have an implication on your tally. On whether, whatever Huru does, whatever Ruto does, 
will have a bearing on how successful Uhuru and Raila will be around the mountain. Okay. Yes. Let's wrap up the conversation with that. Well, thank you so much for tuning in here at Herman Manora's YouTube channel. And if you are watching us and you've not subscribed to the channel, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And we believe that we are going to hit that target be before, before the election. That will be wonderful. Well, till you do have the next episode of The Big Question, enjoy the rest of your day.